Now usually I love, you know how I love those bags of the broccoli and the cauliflower and the broccoli cauliflower and carrots and you know, and also my, my matchstick carrots. I love those. However, I went down to the produce department and I said, where's the bags of cauliflower and, oh, we don't, we're out of them right now. And I'm like, no, you can't be. So I had to resort to oops, buying a head of broccoli and a head of cauliflower, which is fine. Um, this was a whole head. I used the other half each for the sample, which works out fine if you're going to buy um, a head of cauliflower and a head of broccoli, about half of it is what you would use in this recipe. Half of it is one bag of the um, mixed up. And it's very easy to cut. You know, it's not that, it's not that hard. It's just nice when it's in the bag like that. And I just like to cut up in small pieces so that um, it's just easier to eat. It's hard, um, especially when you're talking about picnic things. Yes. Yeah. No, it isn't. It's just, you know, like I said before, to, to kind of get the flavors together. So, you know, if you had time to make it the night before, sure, go ahead, because that's it's just going to keep the flavors together. It's not going to... Um, make it soggy because the, the vegetables that we're using are pretty, um, I don't want to say hard, but they're, they're pretty sturdy. It's not, you know, I don't know whether I would want to use zucchini and keep it overnight and then it sort of gets mushy, but uh, the vegetables that we have are pretty hearty. Okay. And Joey's not here to get the ends. All right. Cauliflower and broccoli. Put our carrots. Now, I'm not going to put quite the whole bag in here because the bowl's too small. So we'll just put part of the bag. And if you feel the need to, if you, if you have a bag of, of, of the baby carrots in your um, refrigerator and you want to use that, go ahead and slice them up. That's fine. We've got a red pepper here. It's got a really tough skin. I don't know where the red peppers are coming in from. And I always like when I got these, I went ahead and washed them so that's all out of the way. We don't have to worry about that now. And you don't have to worry about that when you're um, getting ready to use them because you know that after you've bought them, you've gone ahead and washed them and gotten that all out of the way. Whoops. And this is real colorful because we've got green and white and red and orange. <laughs> it's just taken years of practice and concentration. Remember I told you if you're going to work this fast, you've got to ignore everything around you. You can't answer the phone. You gotta, if the dog's chewing your couch too bad. Wait until you've got the knife out of your hand before you... <laughs> you can't be watching TV. And of course, I know this from experience. <laughs> now, if you don't particularly care for... Uh, this is one of those salads that if you don't particularly care for an item, you can certainly change it out or uh, delete it. You do want to, to think that you can't take everything out because you'll have too much um, dressing and not enough vegetables. So maybe if you don't like the carrots and the red peppers, you want to use more um, broccoli, you want to use more cauliflower, you want to you know, use whatever kind of um, vegetables you want. If you have, um, you're making this in the summer, and you want to use um, something from the garden, that's fine. These were some huge green onions. Okay. I'll chop that up just a little bit more so they don't get, so it doesn't get a great big piece of green onion. 
And even with the green onion, if you don't like the flavor of green onions, the Vidalia onions are just coming in now. So uh, they'll, be, they'll be in and a little bit sweeter than, than this. Okay. So we've got uh, broccoli, cauliflower, red pepper, carrots. Put some tomatoes in. I'm going to put some of these in whole because they're tiny. Let's see. Okay. And we take, oh, that's fine. That's fine. I was going to say, I'm watching not because I don't want it in there, but it's like, now when I have to stir this. Okay. These are small, but you know, sometimes you get the grape tomatoes in there. They're, you know, really sweet, but they're big, so you want to cut them. But these are pretty tiny, so they're okay. Drained can of sliced olives. And also to add a little bit of um, more protein, or not more, but protein to it, here's some garbanzo beads or chickpeas, same thing. Okay, is that all the vegetables? I think that, I ran out of vegetables here, so that must be it. Okay, now for the uh, dressing, very simple. We've got a um, half a cup of olive oil, a third of a cup of red wine vinegar. You should have seen me at uh, three o'clock, Mary. Okay. Uh, when there's stuff all over the place and it's like, oh, how are you ever gonna do this? Here's two teaspoons of the minced garlic. Here I've got some salt, sugar, and uh, black pepper and a little bit of basil. We're not going to use, that's good, this is, this is like fresh basil, this is the stuff we talked about last week um, in the uh, produce department. It's just like fresh, so you want to be careful. It's not like the dried spice in the spice aisle, it's like fresh, so you want to be careful of the quantity that you use. It's a really good product. It comes in a basil, dill, and parsley, I think, is what we carry. Okay, but it's just like fresh. Okay. If you use less of this than you would of the dried, because this is just, even though it's dried, it's uh, freeze-dried rather than dried like the, the spices that you have in the spice aisle. So whenever you do that, you use about uh, a third to a half less of dry of fresh than you do of dry. Did I say that right? Okay, we're just going to pour this over here. And then we're going to toss to coat. Ooh. Nice and colorful. I do need a bigger bowl. And this, you know, you want it to kind of sit a little bit, just to the um, the vinegar in the dressing will kind of soften the the um, vegetables a little bit, which is what you want. They won't make it; it won't make it mushy, but you you want to soften it a little bit. Although I like my vegetables crunchy. I don't like even when I cook them. I don't like to overcook things. I always like to have a bite, and I like to have the um, color. To me, I like to see this green broccoli rather than the olive green broccoli. <laughs> my mother and I go round and round with that because I don't cover my, when I cook steamed vegetables, I don't cover the pot because that takes, um, you lose some of the color with that. She's always, put a cover on that. Okay, mom. She doesn't have a computer so I can talk about her. <laughs> okay. There's our marinated vegetable salad. Very easy, quick. You know, the only thing that takes time is cutting the vegetables. Um, so that's, you know, all these things are, are easy.